Hi, thanks for joining us again for the third episode of this mini video series on the Awakened Mind, brought to you by Quantum Way with Donna Bach and Gary Grusbeck. In this week's episode, they're going to be telling us all about the history of the Awakened Mind, how it was discovered, and what that discovery then led to. So, Donna and Gary, thank you for being with us. We look forward to hearing all about this. Hello, everyone. This is Donna Bach and Gary Grosbeck coming to you to share about the brainwave biofeedback neurofeedback series that we're doing getting ready to come and teach some classes and letting you know what it is you're going to find out when you have your brains hooked up and you get to see what's happening in real time right on the screen the way it's been done since the 1960s and Gary's going to tell you here about what you're seeing in this picture Okay, what you see here uh, is Max Cade, who is the discoverer, if we can say that, uh, of, the, of the Awakened Mind pattern. Now, he was a uh, bioengineer. He worked on radar, uh, quite well-known person in England, actually. Uh, and he started teaching meditation. He was also a hypnotherapist, a master hypnotist. And he started teaching meditation, and after a while, he wanted to see what was happening uh, with his students brainwaves being an engineer so he and another fellow uh, developed the, what's the mind mirror and what you're seeing here is his uh, classroom with the first mind mirror and you can see that everybody hooked up on the mind mirror and they're uh, learning how to develop an awakened mind pattern at first he he didn't know what he was looking for and then gradually as he watched more and more people he began to see patterns and over the years, he monitored about 4,000 people from all persuasions of uh, expertise in meditation and hypnosis and uh, just people off the streets uh, to see what their brainwaves looked like. And he identified this particular pattern that we call now the awakened mind pattern, which we talked about a little bit earlier. And what was really wonderful about Max Cade's new invention is that you can see even the old version of it. This one that you're seeing in the picture was from the 1960s and 70s. The one we have now is a lot more modern and digitized. And what you can see that he did is he created a small version of a brainwave EEG monitor which was a lot smaller and more user friendly than the refrigerator sized EEG units of that time period. And the unique thing about uh, Max Cade was he was monitoring states of consciousness. He was looking at optimal performance where is much of the EEG, uh, particularly in the early days and even today, is more based on clinical uh, work so that they're looking more at what's wrong with the brain rather than what's right with the brain. And so uh, over the fat past, uh, what, 50 years, uh, we've monitored optimal performance at all levels of uh, uh, work and art and meditation uh, and sports performance and so on. And we find that this particular awakened mind pattern shows up repeatedly in all of these optimal states. So the, I'm gonna to switch to one more picture here. This is Anna Wise, and she was one of Max's students, and she was our teacher. And she came over from England uh, after studying with him and brought the mind mirror with her, and then continued to do his work monitoring literally thousands of people and developing more and more uh, refined techniques for developing the awakened mind. Anna Wise was an amazing inventor of her own. She traveled all over the world and she hooked up even animals and horses and dogs and babies and um, Zen masters and Tai Chi masters, every kind of healer and Qigong and Reiki, every kind of person from every walk of life, life that she could, including musicians and rock stars and different people who had amazing talent, Olympic athletes. And then she correlated all these thousands of brainwaves together and then helped to create a program 
that was her own invention that would take people from zero, whatever they had no, no need for any experience of being a meditator and take them through from the beginning all the way to an awakened mind and then what we will show you later on a different brainwave pattern called the evolved mind which is even more advanced and using all of her techniques the way we learned them directly from her is what we plan to share with all of those who come to the experiential training that we do so thank you for uh, tuning in today, and we'll see you in the next episode.